What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. As you guys know, we already broke down our facility in Los Angeles and we shipped everything here to New York. So we're going to start working on uh, setting up some of these tanks here. Today's project will be, what's the word? Not refinish, I guess refinishing is the word. We're refinishing uh, some of the old pup tanks that I had. If you guys remembered on the bottom of the tanks, it had that old dried up uh, masking paper that's on acrylic, okay? And it was something that I've always wanted to clean up but never had the chance to because when I was in LA and when I set up those tanks, I was just in a rush and I just um, wanted to get it up and running. <laughs> Since, since we're getting a chance now to redo everything, I am going to take all the steps that I can to clean up on those little things that I was never able to do before. So we are already started here and I will talk you through what we've done already. So this is what was there before, but this is the underside of it. So if you guys remember from the inside of the tank, it looked pretty ugly, right? And We've tried many different techniques on how to clean this up. And I'm gonna share with you which one I discovered to be the best technique. Okay, now everybody, um, let me just give you guys a quick introduction here. That's my dad right there. Hey dad, can hi. you say hi? Hi. This is my dad, James, and this is my younger brother, hi. Brian. Hi, All right, so as you guys know, you know, I've always centered my videos around family. You guys have met Oi, uh, Tiffany, and Kimberly. So now you're going to meet my family in New York as these videos progress. Okay, so we tried many different things. And uh, we tried sanding the paper uh, off. And it worked. But when we got to the adhesive part, it started gumming up on the sandpaper. And it wasn't turning out real well. Let me show you guys what happened here. You see that? So all that brown stuff got gummed up in the paper and it didn't work very well. But if you're doing a small area, then that's fine. But for the amount of tanks that I'm doing here, I would be wasting a lot of that sandpaper and it would be taking up a lot of my time. So then my dad came up with the idea of scraping the paper, right? Which is what we are doing now. But in addition to just scraping it, we used water, a spray bottle, and we sprayed it wet. So once the paper became wet, you see it rolls right off. So that is a, I would say about 80% of the work, getting the paper off, but there's still that residual glue that we see stuck here, okay? And we can see that right there. So the next step, is to sand that glue down. Since we've stripped off most of the paper and there's only very um, minute amounts, you know, we'll scrape whatever glue we can scrape off. Then we're gonna head to the sander and sand it down. Once we sand it down, and I'm using a rough grit sandpaper, it's a 60 grit. After that, I'm gonna be using a 220 or 320, um, just a finer grit to smoothen it out. Um, it doesn't need to be super fine, like 400 or 1,000 or 2,000. That's just getting too extreme because we're not polishing. We just want it nice and smooth. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it from the outside. And uh, I typically use a latex paint. And once we do that, when it dries and we look at the tank from the inside, it's going to look brand new. It's going to look beautiful. So these tanks which were once really, in my opinion, ugly, is gonna be amazing. And it's just gonna make all my tanks look uh, rejuvenated and great. And I think you guys have seen me do it on some of these other tanks. Let me walk over here and show you. Um, if you guys remember those double stack tanks where I had my marbles in there, um, that's what I did. And believe it or not, those tanks were like really, really old, probably, um, like 15 years old um, but you see here that's the finish after we're done it was the same thing it had all the nasty paper on it sanded it down and then painted it from the outside okay so that's today's video and I just wanted to share with you that one of the many many projects that will be 
happening in the very near future. So uh, stay tuned and um, you know, I'll be sure when I get to the painting portion of it, I will show you as well. And actually when I get to the sanding portion of it, I'll show you and I will also show you the painting portion of it. And then I will also show you the finished product. So this is where we're at right now. Let me get back to work and we'll get to those parts real soon. So you see guys, this is what we're doing here, scraping off the paper. We let the water soak up and it's become fairly easy, but I'm sure you guys are wondering, by doing it this way, are we scraping up the acrylic? Okay, and that was my initial concern in the beginning as well. But you see, this is just the first step. As long as we're not gonna scrape any really deep uh, scrapes, which some did happen, but we're gonna be sanding it also. So the sanding it will remove the deep scratches and also because I plan on painting the bottom that the paint will also cover it up uh, along with the sanding of it. So it's not a big concern. It's not like it's a front viewing panel where we would definitely see the scratches. The paint will, will help to hide that, okay? So now, in some cases, you see this paper is really old here and scraped up. It's gonna get really stubborn. So not everything's gonna be that easy. See, that, that part was easy. Now here, it's gonna require a little bit of scraping and maybe soaking it a little bit longer. But definitely, this is the better alternative to using chemicals. Um, there's a lot of chemicals out there that you can get at Home Depot. I think one is like called goo something, goo off or something. But uh, when you apply chemicals to the acrylic like that, it's gonna cause crazing. And if you get crazing, that's it. Those are micro fractures that uh, happen. That th those are micro fractures that that go into the acrylic, and you can't get that out, no, or at least not easily. You pr basically have to sand off that surface part of the acrylic where where the micro cracks uh, went into the the acrylic. So, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this part and uh, let you guys know. Don't be concerned about those those scratches that you see here. All right. So, let's keep going, I'll be right back. Let's take a look at where we're at so far. So, we've already scraped up, like I showed you earlier, uh, we were scraping off the papers. You know, some of them come off a little bit cleaner, some of them not. These are not sanded yet, and uh, that's the next stage, we'll be sanding it. Others are still, you know, quite dirty, but we got most of the paper off, and uh, you guys already saw that what we did was we moistened up, uh, the, or we softened up the paper by making it wet. And I guess the longer that you let it soak, the better because it softens up the adhesive underneath that is all dried up. So as we were going, we got better and better at it. Because here, I'm going to show you one of the earlier tanks that we did. And you see a lot of the adhesive is left behind and the mistake there was we didn't let it soak long enough so the adhesive was still kind of hard and we weren't able we weren't able uh, to scrape it all off but then the ones we did today you can see came off a lot cleaner and we got a lot of the adhesive off before even sanding which is a, a good thing because it will be a lot less work to sand it all off. Let me get to show you the sanding now. So these now are all sanded off, cleaned off, and uh, we're gonna be prepping it to paint soon, but we still have a few more tanks to go. So here's the process of the sanding. We do a wet sanding so that it helps uh, prevent the, the sandpaper from gumming up and then afterwards we use the same blade to just clean it off and then afterwards we would just use a wet towel and wipe it all down and then that's it we're ready to paint that's stage two of this process and when I get to stage three which is the painting I will show you that part as well but I think uh, I need to get back to work because my dad and brother has done a big portion of the work for me while I'm here filming. All right, so let me get back to work 
and I will get back on the camera as soon as we're ready to paint, all right? All right, guys, so we got to stage three, which was the painting, but everything was moving along so fast that I didn't get a chance to uh, film while we were painting. Come on, painting is painting, right? So that's very uh, self-explanatory. And uh, here's some of the finished product. Um, I already have them all stacked up. It's dried up already. And they're looking pretty good. Nice and clean now. Let's come around from this side. We can get a better look. So it's a very big improvement from what it was before. And the big question is what it's going to look like filled. Okay. So uh, let me walk on over to the back over there and show you what we've done so far. It's going to be a minute for me to get over there because this place is a lot bigger than what I'm used to. But the good thing is it's going to give me more exercise, right? Okay, so we started putting up the racks after everything was done. Um, and now I can give you a look at the setup and show you how these tanks look finished. Now, being that these are old acrylic tanks, when, when they're empty, it looks hazy like that. But once it's filled up, it's going to look real nice. But we've wiped it all down, and the finish is looking really good. So the next step here is to put all the bulkheads back on and reconnect the plumbing. Um, then we're ready to fill. All right. So when that's done, of course, I will show you the absolute final finished product because I can't wait to see it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and uh, I was able to teach you guys something. And that's always my goal, right? So uh, if you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right. Take care, guys. All right. Here's a quick update for you guys. We have these tanks set up here. If you guys remember these tanks, these were my Stingray Pup tanks. And uh, it's ready to go. We just got to fill it up with the water and plug it in. Uh, we got Kells over here. We want to give him a big thank you. He uh, actually helped me set up about 90% of this system right here. While I was working on uh, plumbing these tanks here. So we positioned all of that. And I'm still working on some filtration plumbing here, hooking up the Ultimas and the pumps. Those two back there is done. So we're almost ready for you, all right? Um, we'll see you guys soon.